everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video of surrounding Weight Watchers and my favourite recipes when it comes to cooking from the Weight Watchers app and searching for recipes and meals that inspire me, things to eat throughout the day. I asked on a very recent poll on YouTube what you guys would like to see from me in regards to content and a lot of people were saying we want meal plans, we want your favourite recipes and that kind of thing when it comes to pointing so I thought that was a really great video, especially if you're not currently paying for the app because this can give you a great arsenal of a few family dishes, a few meals for breakfast, lunch and dinner that you can now benefit from without technically having to pay for the app. So I think that, that's fantastic. Um, and again, I've chosen five breakfasts, five lunch and five dinners that I just absolutely love and I have on a rotating basis. Some weeks I'll have them, some weeks I won't, but generally every couple of weeks I will have the majority of these dishes because I just adore them. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, I found since doing my Weight Watchers journey and if you haven't seen my journey from where I started to where I've come from now I will link that above, I never know which side, I'll link it somewhere above so you guys can go and check it out and what I've noticed is even though I am going on a calorie controlled diet or whatever you guys want to call it, a meal plan, whatever I've eaten better and I feel better for it, I've eaten really lovely nutritious meals, some of them are completely made from scratch and some of them are shop bought for my convenience, like the ingredients that are all put together, but we're eating so much better as a family as well and these are all recipes that I use with my family in a busy family life and I think that they're absolutely fantastic and also they don't taste like they're good for you, like literally they taste just the same I'm using the same ingredients, it's just the quantities, portion control and all that kind of thing and I do mention that it's everything in moderation and I absolutely adore these particular recipes so I thought I would share them with you if you are interested in knowing more about the Weight Watchers app, how it can benefit you, how to track food, how to track your weight and if this inspires you to check out the Weight Watchers app because you've seen recipes that you think they sound really lovely I will link my video above where you can go and check it out and also I'll put my referral code in the description box down below, it's not sponsored, it just basically means I get a month free and you guys get a month free because I do pay for my membership as well. If I featured them in what I eat in a day videos, which is highly very very likely, I will insert overlays, you guys can see the meals being prepared and how they look. I will also include the point value as well and don't forget these point values are per serving. Okay so what I've done is I've compiled a list here in my diary of the five selections from each category. I'm going to start off with breakfast obviously. Now before I begin I just want to say as well I recently did a video talking about um, if you're not being that successful on Weight Watchers, if you're pointing and you feel like you know it's not working, you're not having the weight loss, I've wrote the reasons, or I've recorded them in a video why people might be struggling with the new point system because of the zero point foods. If you haven't seen that I would highly suggest you watch it because um, it can explain a lot of things on the new system, how things have changed, why your weight loss may not be going as you want it to. So if you haven't seen that video I will link it above as well as in the description box because I feel like it might be quite useful. Um, but anyway, I'm going to start off with breakfast and the first thing I want to say is don't feel pressured to eat breakfast every day if you don't fancy it. We're always having it drummed into us that we must eat breakfast, we must have this, we must have that. I'm not a breakfast person, I struggle to eat breakfast but I push myself to because I like to break my fast. But, it, you know, some people live for breakfast, that's not me. I prefer to live for my evening meal and you'll notice that with my selection. So the first thing that I absolutely adore, first and foremost, is fruit. I know that it's a really boring option and to be honest with you, yes it is a boring option. I have some much more exciting ones here to share as well. But fruit is my go-to to break my fast. When I'm not quite fancying anything much, fruit is a feel safe, it's free and um, points wise and yeah, one of my favourite things to eat. If I want to be a little more adventurous or I want something a little bit more kind of substantial, my next favourite has to be yoghurt. I adore yoghurt and berries in the mornings, I think it's really refreshing, really awakening and obviously fruit is zero points as I've mentioned and any fruit that you put into your yogurt will be zero points as well and I would say a typical yogurt will cost you between zero depending if you have like Greek fat free yogurt or I sometimes have the papaya flavoured which is also low fat um, and that costs me anywhere between one to three points depending on my serving so berries and yogurt one of my favourites and that could cost you anything up to three points or more depending on how big a serving that you would like the next thing I absolutely adore is oats I really love oats on cold winter mornings especially. It's not something I have often, just because I feel like the point value for oats is quite high. Um, especially for me, that's not a breakfast person. I don't like to spend too much on my breakfast. 
But when I'm having a really cold wintry day and I want something warming and comforting and filling, or perhaps I know that lunch might be a little bit later than I would like, I go for oats and berries and I really do enjoy them. I use some organic oats that I get from Aldi. I mix them with berries sometimes. Sometimes I use my skinny food maple syrups or my other syrups that I absolutely adore. So yeah, oats for the win, um, for a cold winter breakfast and they can cost anything up to four points if you make them with water. If you don't make them with water, you need to factor in your milk as well and that will of course increase the point value. But oh, this is just a really great option, especially if you travel a lot in the mornings and you want something warm and hearty that's going to really tide you over until lunch time. The next thing I wanted to talk about is pancakes. Pancakes I really enjoy. Um, I have these specific ones from Weight Watchers. I believe that they're, I think that they're one point because they're basically made up of eggs and bananas and that is it. Um, and I think that the the sugar or the syrup makes up the one one serving but to be honest I use the skinny food one which is free so pancakes for me can be free if you make them from scratch if you shop buy them you'll need to scan the barcode or insert the, the calories to get your point value but it's a great option especially if you like to have a bit of fruit with it maybe scrambled egg that kind of thing it's a really really lovely one and that kind of goes in the same family in my opinion as waffles waffles and pancakes are quite similar to me again you'll spend between four to seven points per serving depending on what you have with them how you prepare them if you make them from scratch or if you shop buy them but I do love waffles so those are my five favorite breakfasts that I would have so we're gonna move over to lunch now which is I like my lunch I'm not gonna lie there's much more thought goes into my lunch than my breakfast that is for sure and my fail safe my fail safe lunch that I will have most days if I don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen which is often the case especially if I know I'm cooking a big evening meal omelette omelette is now free because eggs are free um, depending on if you add milk, which I sometimes add a little bit of a splash, factor that in as well. I don't personally because I'm maintaining, but feel free to do that. And I also add cheese occasionally to my omelettes. Not all the time, but sometimes I want a cheese omelette, and that is anything up to two points. So, omelette is definitely one of my favourite things. Another thing I like to have, and this is something that I have if I want something, again, a bit more substantial. I might be having my evening meal later on in the day or I might want a more simple evening meal so I want something a bit more beefy for my lunch and then I will opt for the steak and balsamic onion sandwich. Oh my goodness, this is such a fantastic Weight Watchers recipe. I adore it. I made it once and now I'm obsessed and I have it at least once a week for my lunch and it's a lovely comforting steak sandwich with balsamic onion and I make a little dip to go alongside with it which I adore. I'll link all of the videos that all of these recipes featured in down below as well as doing overlays where I can but that sandwich is insanely delicious and it's five points which for me I'm like yeah give it to me. No worries spending five points on that, it's divine. Very similar to that kind of category, I also have the chicken sandwich that I make, and this is the club sandwich, again a Weight Watchers recipe, this is around 4 points per sandwich, again I use the same thins, the same sandwich thins I used on my steak sandwich, but it's basically chicken, a bit of bacon, lettuce, mayo, and you have yourself a really lovely sandwich, and something that's a little bit different to just, you know, plainer alternatives that you might have, like a piece of toast or something. Try and make your meals interesting, try and make them delicious and fulfilling because then you're far likely to stick to it and it just keeps things interesting like I said so the chicken sandwich is one that I really really do enjoy and I have it at least once a week to every two weeks depending on how much time I have but I really do love it when I do have it. And the next one is a chicken wrap so obviously similarly this is just a, a variation of what I've just said but sometimes I like to have wraps Sometimes I'll season the chicken a different way or I'll have roast chicken as opposed to chicken breast which may cost that a little bit more and I tend to point those between 6 to 8 points because you have the wrap to consider, the chicken with the skin. You could do it with chicken breast if you would like and it would make it less calories, less point value but again that is just something that I really enjoy to have um, is a chicken wrap and again it's very very filling. And then the last option that I have is some kind of soup. My favourite soup is the Cajun sweet potato one from Aldi. I find it quite spicy, has a really nice kick to it and again it's really ideal for the colder months that we're experiencing at the moment. Um, we've had a lot of snow and it's just been a great hearty dish for me to have during the day and I don't really have it with bread because I find the bowl quite substantial for me but obviously feel free to have it with bread but just factor in the point value and I would say the soups that I go for are anything between two to four points per serving. So we're going to move on to my favourite meal of the day now guys, dinner. I live for dinner. I 
I love it when I know I'm having something throughout the day and I'm shopping for my ingredients, I'm preparing for it, I'm measuring everything out. And these recipes all come from the Weight Watchers app. And this is, again, testament to just how much is on there. Do not overlook the Weight Watchers recipes section. Um, I know a lot of people pay for the app and they just go for the weight tracking and the the connect kind of side of it, but for me, the main thing I go for is the recipes as well. I think they're absolutely fantastic. So, number one, and this is the, my favorite thing I've ever prepared from the Weight Watchers app, and it is the chicken biryani. The chicken biryani is legendary. Honestly, it's so delicious, and I've cooked regular biryanis before that haven't been like lower in fat, and honestly, it's just as flavorful, just as aromatic, just as delicious. Honestly, a massive, massive, massive recommend from me, especially if you want to cook for a large bunch of people, because it's just as easy to prepare for one person as it is to prepare for eight to 10 people. So it's a fantastic family dish, really warming, really comforting, very, very filling, very enriching, and it's just amazing. If you like ethnic foods, you love a good biryani, but you're thinking, I'm not gonna be able to get away with that on Weight Watchers, you can. So yeah, biryani for the win, and that is four points per serving, but I have to admit, when I prepared it, I had two servings, so it went up to eight, but I did not mind in the slightest because it was delicious. The next thing, again, family favourite of ours is a chilli, and it's so easy to prepare, literally mincemeat, chopped tomatoes, garlic, salt and pepper, a few different spices, a stock, and you're there. Sometimes I'll have it with rice, which will bump up the point value. Sometimes I won't, I'll have it with just bread. Sometimes I have it as a thick stew and just have it on its own, depending on how much veg I've popped in. So again, it's really customizable. And that is another thing about the Weight Watchers app. You can customize recipes to bring the point value up or down, depending on if you're adding things or taking them away, which I think is amazing. But a standard chili with a couple of slices of garlic bread would cost up to about eight to nine points um, or more if you're having rice and bread, unless you slice it down the middle and have a little bit of each. So that is one that I adore. Again, a great family favourite. The next one is a recent discovery and oh my goodness guys, if you like a good curry and if you like a lamb curry in particular, the lamb rogue and josh that I did very recently was to die for. Very flavourful and again, lamb isn't something that I indulge in that often because it's quite a fatty meat and it's something that I kind of wrote off. I just thought I'm never going to be able to point this in. It's just too it's just too much. But actually, I found a fantastic recipe. I slow cooked it and it was incredible. My mouth is watering just thinking about that dish because it was insanely delicious. 7 points. Absolutely worth it. Great family dish. Great alternative for a takeaway at a weekend as well. So if you wanted to have it at a weekend with some naan, papadam, push the boat out guys, I mean, at least you know that your curry is, you know, pointed, so I really do adore that. The next one is another family favourite, and probably my, my children's favourite when it comes to cooking of the Weight Watchers app, and it is a spaghetti bolognese. Who doesn't love a spaghetti bolognese? I mean, I'm saying that, my mum and my stepmom both hate spaghetti bolognese, but as a family, we are big tomato fans, and I love a good spaghetti bolognese, and I love how creative you can get with it. I add lentils, carrot, everything, like I literally add everything that I need to use up in my fridge. I'll add pancetta, obviously if you're adding things or taking things away, you know, factor that in, but the Weight Watchers spaghetti bolognese recipe is delicious. I personally haven't eaten pasta in six months, the pasta part, like the carb, the carb part, but I love the sauce, I have it with bread. I just find that the pasta, you know, it's just too high calorie value for me and I don't miss it. Rice is something I couldn't live without, but pasta, I'm quite happy to just have the sauce. But honestly, even if you did want to factor in this pasta, the sauce is such a lovely one. I absolutely adore it. And you're looking at between two to eight points, depending on if my savvy just have the sauce or you want to have some pasta as well, it will skew up to eight. And then you're going to factor in any accompaniments that you may have cheese and garlic bread, whatever else. But and then the last choice that I have, and it was really hard to narrow it down to these ones, guys, because you will have seen from my What I Eat In A Day videos, there is just so many wonderful recipes that I go on to enjoy, but I have to choose the chicken and chickpea casserole. I really like that. I mean, typically when you think of casserole, you think of gravy, you think of veg, you think of like a brown kind of dish, whereas for me, I like tomato-y kind of casserole, so, you know, harissa paste in there, chicken, um, chili, 
tomatoes, passata, garlic. I love to make a really hearty tomato based kind of casserole for a change because I'm so used to having things like caco van, chicken chasseur that are all very meat based and all very kind of, it's hard to describe, more like a, a traditional casserole where it's it's not tomato it's not zingy or anything like that so it was really nice to have an alternative that definitely felt more like Middle Eastern food for me because a lot of that is very tomato based and I really enjoy it that dish again is absolutely delicious you can have it with yogurt you can easily change the meat up for fish or you could just have it with veggies in there as well it's such an easy dish to kind of bring recipes into and take ingredients in and out of and I really enjoy it and that one is a grand total of seven smart points which is insane because it's so flavorful so delicious and you would not think that something quite as hearty and delicious as that would come with such a low point value but it does give it a try I think you'll love it so that is my favorite dishes when it comes to breakfast lunch and dinner it was quite hard to narrow it down so I think I will do more of these just to let you know as I come across recipes because I, I cook and bake with them all of the time so I'll let you know other ones I adore as well. I'm also going to pop the ingredients and the method for each dish that I have mentioned today in the description box because I know that will help you guys out. I don't know if I'm supposed to because I feel like that's what people pay for on the app but I don't care. I'm gonna, I want you guys to try these dishes. I want you guys to be able to see just the kind of things that you can get from the Weight Watchers app. That it's not all boring, it's not all calorie kind of conscious, it's about really fulfilling delicious family meals that you can really rely on and depend upon and know that they're going to be just as delicious as anything else that you would cook or prepare at home. Um, so I'm going to link all of that down below in the description box as well as my What I Eat In A Day playlist. Any relevant videos and links I think will be useful for you. Comment down below and let me know what your guys' favourite recipes are when it comes to the Weight Watchers app um, or in general any really fantastic recipes that you guys have that your family love because I love to cook and bake. Comment with them down below. I will definitely try them out for sure. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like if you would like to see more of these because um, this is my first one so I hope you guys enjoy it um, and if you do give it comments and thumbs up on notes to do more for you. Um, subscribe if you're new to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>